not convinced I'm a bike person. You convinced me. The Bugle is the biggest outlet in the city. I can make a difference there. But if I get fired, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> MJ! Whoa. Doctors haven't cleared me for MJ hugs yet. Sorry. <laughs> I was hoping you might have time to go for a ride with me. Sure. Lots happened in the last 10 years. I got a second chance. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. Prepare for the transfer tomorrow. And do not fail again. You busy? I need whatever it is. I'm down. Need some help with a babysitting mission at the rack. Sounds fun. Fill me in on the way. How's the essay going? It's it's going. I'm gonna head out though. Pete call for some backup. We're just It's better if I don't know the details. I'll be fine, Ma. Espera un momento. Um you know how there have been a few nights recently where you've been working late, and so I also worked late. Well, I wasn't working. Don't give me that look. I'm not in any trouble. It's just, um, I've been going on some dates. Dating, actually. Oh, right. And there's this one guy. I've seen him a few times, and it's, well, it's going well. Ma, what are you asking me? I'd like to have him over. For Bartelon. I'm sure there's some spider stuff I can be doing. I can give you some privacy? No, I'd like him to meet you. And I'd like you to meet him. But if you're not comfortable, I totally understand. Ma. Look, you had me a pate alone. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. Después. Better head to the raft. Maybe these wind tunnels can give me a boost. <laughs> There's another one. I should catch that updraft. Whoa! I'm getting the hang of this. I should check the view. Love a windy day. Hey, Miles, I'm just getting to the raft. You on your way? Wouldn't miss it. Who are babysitting? MJ got a tip yesterday that Scorpion's being moved to Ravencroft. Not enough resources for him since Sandman became his roommate. Scorpion can definitely throw a tantrum. I'll be there. Hey, man. Glad you could make it. Looks like I'm just in time.
Keep it moving, Gargan. <laughs> Ready for the next one. Next one? Thought we were just babysitting Scorpion today. for fireworks. We gotta go. Should have stretched. Your head will make a fine trophy. Whoa, those blades are sharp. Get down here and fly off. You must be new in town. Hi, I'm Spider Man. In case you didn't know, these guys are bad news. Definitely want to keep them in prison. Get out of our way. There's nothing done you. All right, guess we can skip the welcome wagon. Spider Man! Who the hell are these guys? I was hoping you knew! I'll cover you! Get them out of the ship! On it! He's too fast in here! Take out the defenses! Overwhelm the guards and break down the door! Get down! They're trying to get inside the ship! They want Scorpion and Lee! We gotta stop them! Even one with these guys. Oh. Seems like your club has plenty of members. You will see, and it will be glorious. Not liking the sound of that. They just keep coming. You insects should have stayed out of this. Common misconception: spiders are not actually insects. But that's maybe beside the point right now. Almost. I'll get you for that! Keep fighting! Cover Spider-Man! Mothers and sisters! Reinforcements are here! Focus in! We can't let him get near the prisoners! Get this 
distracted by the spiders. Our quarry lies within! They're definitely going after Scorpion. Can't let them get inside this ship! Target sighted! Relocating!
here. Sweet. Water's rising. I can't get back the way I came in. The electrical current is powerful in here. Even I can feel it. I can't let it get to that guard. This amount of electricity will fry him alive. Excess energy. Thanks a million kids. But I saved you. Oh, really? <laughs> on Scorpion.
right here. Yeah! Let's do this fight and retrieve me. You're not taking him. And you are naive. They are out. Let's see you try. Keep your feet on the ground.
Responders are on site now, at least. <laughs> Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck upriver? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. Yeah. Pete. When I saw Lee inside that ship, my powers, they... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels... volatile. Wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Promise. Don't leave me hanging. I'm trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man. Settle some things. We do. See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. We really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. <laughs> Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. 
You getting some? How did you? And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on? Our school, college. You like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. made a decent problem. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Hmm. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. This isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling in the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, Nev. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. It's that by you done to Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. Y... ¿Cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Hey, have a bad day there. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete. You ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader, some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get the story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too.
was wondering what this place was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this Place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Hey, are you serious? Chris and Jennifer split. Here, oh, follow me. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer dogs. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Today's mindful meditation class yep. will be held in the atrium due to overwhelming injury. Oh yeah! Gotta protect the hive. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. To entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural networks, Pete. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. 
I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Where do I even start? Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the Energy Lab and the Agricultural Lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Welcome to entomology. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome to Space Week. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. have a
particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. To middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show-off. 
Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. Our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. There's some instruction manual for a Wanda Watoon. Watoon? Hmm. I'll do a search. Give me a sec. <clears throat> <laughs> 